Hey everybody, it's your anime pal Johnny here. Today we're watching another exciting episode of Cyberpunk Edge Runners. I'm really interested in this show. I'm uh, having a really great time with it. Love the animation. So far, I'm loving the story too. Main character's name is David, and he seems to be a young, talented techie in this futuristic society. And um, what's cool about it is that it does uh, a lot of interesting things as far as for the way they present all the characters, the colors, the sound, music in it, which I really enjoy. The other thing that's pretty cool is that uh, it does have a strong emotional uh, through line especially with the storyline with his mother, how we lost her in a previous episode. Um, actually ended on a bit of a down note. I mean, everything was pretty much going wrong for him. It was the worst day of his life. But what's interesting, too, is that he did find a piece of illegal tech that um, at first he was going to sell, but it looks like he's actually going to install that into himself now. And I'm thinking that's where we're going to get a lot of the crazy things that uh, his character is going to do. Very much excited to see how this story plays out. So let's go ahead and just dive right in to it. Yep, chroming up. He's got some military grade problems. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna play ball. Hells yeah, he's ready to rip. Oh. Oh my god. Oh lordy. Well, he got what he wanted. Wow, that's kind of almost like a 60s vibe. It's like a mashup of uh, super duper futuristic with some retro vibes. This fire. I like it. All right, so what's he going to do now that he's all chromed up? Oh, this guy. All right. Just right into it. <laughs> he don't give a, cra a crap. All right, let's do this. Oh, so he's moving just like that guy did in the that video he saw. Oh, dang. Well, it didn't get his hands chromed up, that's for sure. He really doesn't give a shit at this moment. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well. Where did he go? Oh, damn. Okay. Somebody's got his eyes on him. So that's the bully's pops. Oh wow, top student. Oh, so maybe he's special. No side effects. I see how it is. All right, it's going to teach him how to be a company man, huh? Yep, enough of that. <laughs> Wonder how things are going to play out today. Oh, wow. Uh, hopefully you don't do it, buddy. I mean, no, you won't because it's only episode two, but dang. Oh, it's not as high as I thought it was. But it made you think, right? I know it made me think. Maybe he'll meet her, though. Hopefully today will be a b better day. Oh, 
Oh, what is she doing? Well, sneaky, sneaky. Oh, yeah, it's not going to work out the way you thought it would. Yeah, I'd agree. What's she planning? Oh, she's looking for implants, I bet. Just a little. Sure, why not? Not exactly the fairest split. Well, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Alright, Lucy. Man, it's really giving me some Ghost in the Shell vibes. Easy peasy. Okay. He's getting a little full of himself now. Oh, wow. Big boy. Some quick hands, man. Not too shabby. Hells yeah. Oh. Uh, I guess he used up uh, too much of his energy. Like shit. Oh, natural, baby. That can't be good. All right. Oh, wow. Feisty. Man, she's crazy. I wonder if he's already fallen in love. I think he is. Oh, wow. I wonder if she knows Doc. <laughs> He's had better days. Oh, wow. He has sprung a leak. Alright, gonna knuckle and dime him now. Yeah. Fair enough. Gonna make a little cheese. That's it. Okay, good to know. Yeah, she's definitely giving me some Motoko vibes. I wonder if she's talking to her boss. Well, it looks a lot better. Cyber Psycho. Yeah, don't push your luck. Yeah, stop while you're ahead. <laughs> well, if it's not work related, then what is it? Oh. 
What's the deal? Wonder what she wants from him. At least he's got a place to sleep. That's good. Don't think he could afford it. Oh. Oh. That sounds pretty cool. It's just a joke. Doesn't sound good. Yeah. That's a bummer. Wonder if he has a dream. Yeah, good question. Interesting camera view. So she's dreaming of the outside world. All right, what's going on here? That's pretty sweet. Oh, wow. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's definitely got the hots for her. Can't blame him. Oh man, that would be so much fun if that actually existed in real life. The video games would be off the hook, man. If you can actually feel everything, I wonder if you could taste everything too. I guess you can. Haha. <laughs> How dare she? Oh, wow. Because you're cool, bro. Why don't she just saying that? What was that? Them sparkly eyes, she must be telling him something, huh? Huh? Talk about a rude awakening. Oh, she totally played him, didn't she? Oh my god. No way, is that the end? Huh? I guess it's over. <laughs> Alrighty, so that was my reaction to episode 2 of Cyberpunk Edge Runners. And oh wow, uh, it's definitely taking me for a ride. I'm really digging it. Uh, we finally got introduced to Lucy. Uh, she's kind of teased in the first episode that haircut, or at least the, the character walking around with that haircut. Never got to see her face up close until this episode, and I'm um, definitely liking her. She's a little, uh, she's a little out there, a little crazy, 
but I think it works for this story. Uh, it also gives our hero, David, an opportunity to kind of like stretch his legs and um, find his way in, in this world. Not just walking the path that was set before him by his, um, his mother, but to kind of just uh, figure out what he wants to do, what his dream is. Um, we even got to see a little bit of Lucy's dream as well. We got to see her motivations, or at least um, kind of the thing that is a little bit out of her reach. What her real motivations are, we don't know. But we know that she's uh, playing David at the end, especially if you can tell that. But uh, I wonder if that's all part of her plan or if she just straight up just uh, stabs him in the back like that. Because uh, we kind of had the feeling that she's going to be a partner to him. Maybe she's just another obstacle that uh, David has to overcome to achieve his his goal, whatever his goal may be. And that's the thing. I'm wondering what we're going to see his goal turn out to be in this series. Because he's pretty much lost everything. He's lost his mother. He lost his school. And um, he's living pretty much in the bottom rungs of society in the slums. Like, now that he has nothing, he can only go up. But yeah, we'll see. Only time can tell, right? In any case, I'm definitely interested in watching episode 2. Uh, sorry, episode 3 three and uh, i really loved this episode I, I really did hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did please remember to leave a like please subscribe and leave a comment i greatly appreciate it if you can also share the video uh, that would mean the world to me that's all i got for you today so to all my fellow fools and dreamers out there johnny